In the last 30 days, I gained 9,185 followers on my Instagram account at Josh Ryan using a predictable, replicatable strategy that I'm gonna share with you here today. Now, how do I know that you can replicate this strategy? It's because every month, for the past four or five months, we've doubled our rate of growth. We went from gaining 600 followers a month to 1,200 to 2,500 to 5,000 to gaining nearly 10,000 in the last 30 days. And so I'm gonna break this down into the four things we did to achieve these results and if you follow along, pay attention, take notes and implement everything, you too will crush it on Instagram. And realistically, this works for every social media platform. The content I try and give away is evergreen and relates to many platforms. So you can take this and use it for TikTok, for LinkedIn, for Facebook, for YouTube, etc. Diving right into this, the first big thing that we did on this account is about the content. And I know you've heard a million times people say, post good content, publish good content, make your content interesting interesting, valuable, use a good hook, etc. But it's because deep down, that is what works. If your content is not top tier, you are gonna struggle to grow. You're gonna find it very, very hard to grow an audience. No matter what strategy you use, no matter what tactics you use, no matter what hacks you use, if everyone else in your industry is posting better, more engaging, more interesting content than you are, why would anyone follow you? They just won't. They're gonna follow the people who are posting the content that serves them the best. If that is not you, you will not grow. If it is you, you will grow. And this funnels down to every other aspect of Instagram. Alex Hormozzi in his book, $100 million offers, talks about the importance of having an amazing offer and what it does for your business. I've got his book here beside me and I'll put the graphic up on the screen, but he goes to compare a commodity offer to a grand slam offer, both of which use a $10,000 marketing budget for. And if you'd like, you can pause and read through the table that he shows, but essentially with the grand slam offer, you have a two and a half better times response rate your closing rate becomes 2.3 times better price you charge is four times better and it leads to a 22 times increase in the amount of cash collected and it's no different with your instagram growth just think about it if you invest more time and more money into creating better more valuable more interesting content more people who stumble across your profile will follow you because what you're posting is way better when an existing follower sees your content in their feed they're more likely to engage with it they're more likely to share it to their story, they're more likely to comment, they're more likely to tag a friend. When Instagram then sees this increased level of engagement on your content, they're more likely to show it to more new people who don't yet know you, but are interested in what you post about. The fourth benefit is then when these new people see your content because it is much better, they are more likely to consume it, to engage with it, to check out your profile and then follow you. And then this has a spiral effect. If you compare average content, which gets average engagement, which therefore doesn't get shown on Instagram, which therefore doesn't grow an audience, you can post a piece of content every single day for a month and not grow. If you're lucky, you might see a 10% increase in your follower count from 1,000 people to 1,100. However, if you invest more time, more money, and more effort into creating amazing content and you increase all of those metrics, increased engagement on your content, increased new reach to new people, those new people react to it better, which then drives more people to your profile who convert at a higher rate, your growth can skyrocket and you can go from a thousand followers to 10,000 to 50,000 to 100,000 to millions of people by simply creating better content. And so I know you've heard it a million times, but you really have to dive into how can you create the absolute best content in your industry. And if you're not striving to do that, you're somewhat wasting your time. So how can you create a hook that grabs people's attention? Whether it's in a carousel, whether it's in an image, whether it's in a reel, how can you create the best possible hook that's going to grab the attention of of your target audience. Second, how can you deliver on that hook and provide really great content? Maybe this means you research the topic that you're creating content about so you can give some good facts, some good data, some good analytics, some good insights and proof to back up whatever you're talking about. Third, how can you dress up this content to look as good as possible? So if this is a carousel, how can you design it in a nice way with nice fonts, with nice colors, with nice flow between the slides, all of this here to make it look good. If it's a reel that you're creating, can you improve your lighting? Can you improve your audio? Can you improve the setting of which you film the reel in? Can you improve your ability to articulate a point or a message that you're sharing? Can you edit it in a better way? Constantly look at how you can improve what you're creating. Because I promise you, you cannot find a creator on Instagram who is producing elite level content that is not growing. It just simply doesn't exist. 
the best content in the industry is not going to sit hidden in the platform the best content assuming you do it for enough time will grow your audience you could post the best content for a week you're not going to go viral you might but you probably won't but if you stick at it and you're posting the best content in your industry and you do that for three months there's no chance that you don't grow so I've repeated myself way too much there, but I really want to drill home that point that if you are posting the best content in your niche, you will grow. So if you are not growing, it means your content is probably not the best. And this is for myself too. I'm always looking at ways I can increase the quality of what I'm publishing. Can I speak better? Can I improve the lighting? Can I improve the editing? Can I deliver the content better? Can I research content better so it is more interesting? And how can I get that out there? Because by mastering that, people engage more, people check out my profile more, all the metrics increase and the growth skyrockets and that is what we did on the account we focused on how we could create the best content to deliver to the audience to grow the account anyway enough ranting about that let's move on to the second point and that is community the one thing great content needs is a community to support it and naturally through providing really interesting content whether it's educational inspirational entertaining etc you will naturally build a community however those early days you somewhat have to do it manually yourself and this is going to consist of engaging with other accounts in your niche who have the followers that you want you can get in front of them build relationships become familiar in your niche and then more people are going to check out your content to see what it's all about when they then see amazing content on your profile they're going to turn into followers who are going to support your content because it's going to be great stuff which is going to lead to it getting pushed out and this is that initial follower group that you build that's going to help propel your content to more people so in those early days when you don't have enough followers for instagram to recommend your content you have to put yourself out there manually comment on people's posts send people dms reply to stories network build up that base of people who consistently comment with your stuff like your stuff share your stuff and then eventually you'll reach a tipping point where you're getting a few hundred likes on your posts 10 20 30 comments and then instagram is going to start suggesting your content to new people to which assuming you followed step one well and you're creating really good stuff you will grow the third point that i touched on in the first one comes down to consistency again you've probably heard this a million times post content consistently however if that's not paired with great content it won't work consistently posting average stuff isn't going to get you anywhere i'm sorry to break it to you however like i said if you're posting the best possible quality of content you do have to be consistent for at least a few months potentially before you'll see results now you might have your first real take off and go viral but you probably won't it's probably going to take one two maybe three months to start building some traction and start reaching new people and so you have to be consistent through those early days of consistently publishing great stuff even if people aren't reacting to it the way you expected you aren't getting as many followers as you might have thought it will take a couple months to build that initial community to then go viral this account that gained 9185 followers in 30 days it took us five months to gain 3,000 followers and then it took us about three months to go from 3,000 to 30,000 so it took that period of consistently doing the board boring stuff every single day to build up that initial community and then the post started performing well to which we grew really fast so don't give up straight away and don't burn out too quick don't try and post every single day and then after two weeks stop if you've got a really busy schedule and you can only post three times a week post three times a week stick to it for at least three months and focus on making those three posts amazing research them edit them as well as you can do your absolute best i just want to give a quick disclaimer around this content stuff I'm not saying that if you're not amazing at graphic design and you're not an amazing video editor to just give up. I'm saying learn as much as you can. So maybe you're not great at design. Start learning. Start watching a few tutorials on YouTube of how to create great Canva content and use Canva to create okay designs, but fill it with a ton of value. If you're teaching people about fitness, research it in depth, distill a ton of knowledge into a small post that is easy to consume and have okay design and then over the weeks slowly improve that design same with video your first video will not be amazing but at least give really good insights in the video even if you're nervous and the editing is bad and the lighting is bad give really good information because at least that will be high quality and then your delivery your editing your lighting over those three months of consistency will improve and then moving on to the fourth thing once you have done these three things 
you want to start optimizing so once you've been consistent for a couple months you've started building a community and you're posting really great stuff now is when you start looking at optimizing and this is where the hacks and the tips and the tricks come into play you want to go through your insights you want to go through your analytics on your account and figure out what content is performing the best are you getting better returns from images carousels reels where is the best return coming from is it performing best when you use this hook or that hook is it performing best with these colors or those colors look at the content and see if you can notice trends and then based on those trends you can then optimize your content going forward so you're creating better stuff you're using this information to improve what you are creating this is something that was massive on my account and helped us get results now personally i used flick for my analytics for hashtags you can schedule content although i don't schedule my content at the moment i post it manually but i would go inside of flick i would look at what content was performing the best and i would see how we can reverse engineer that is it best when we talk about what hooks you should use is it best when we talk about this when we talk about that we tried experimenting with other niches talking about youtube growth etc how does that perform should we talk about that more should we talk about that less we're really trying to dial into what's working another thing that we found is that instagram often will promote carousels twice so if you post a carousel on instagram the first slide and the second slide are really important to optimize because the first time your carousel is shown to someone in their feed they will show the first slide the second time it is shown to someone in their feed if they don't engage with it it's the second slide so if both your first and second slide are optimized to grab attention so you have a hook on the first slide and on the second you almost repeat the hook you're going to get more people consume the content and it's going to get pushed to more people and this is where the little things come in but it's more of a case-by-case -case basis where you learn to look through your analytics find what's working double down on it and also look at things like your profile how well is your profile converting profile visitors into followers make a few adjustments see if it goes up or goes down and then go from there if it goes down go back to whatever you were doing if it goes up leave it as it is maybe change another variable change the profile photo change the username change the name change the bio etc all of these things you can look at to improve and grow but the big thing that led to the growth of this account was the content I paired my knowledge of Instagram, which I've been doing for eight years and tried to distill complex things down into easy to consume, valuable pieces of content that I thought were better than most of what was on Instagram. And I paired that up with a designer who's great at designing content and he helped me make it look really good and write it out. And so together with great knowledge and great design, the content performed really well and we were getting 3000 plus likes per photo per carousel etc on an account with 30,000 followers which was ridiculous and we were getting some of those numbers when we only had 10 or 15,000 followers as well the engagement was just crazy because we focused on how we could create the best stuff yes we used hashtags yes we wrote nice captions yes we tried to post at the time of day that was optimal for growth on the account however that's not what made it go viral and that's not what made it grow so fast the reason it grew so fast is because we focused on how can we produce amazing content and if you come back to that fundamental you will grow and it doesn't matter whether you're doing carousels reels images create the best stuff you'll build an audience focus on the other stuff later hopefully that didn't come across too harsh hopefully that came across from a point of me trying to help you get results and to stop focusing on the wrong things if you need my help creating great content to grow your audience and grow your business on social media then you can book a call with me down below we will get on the phone see if you're a good fit to work with us and take it from there that's it from me on this video if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram for more daily content see you next time